I've heard from quite a few people in the past about how they always get confused when it comes to selecting parts for their projects, or they build a project and it never looks quite as good as maybe some of the ones you see in magazines. I can test that a lot of that comes down to wood selection and grain selection, and here's a perfect example. This board, all of these boards actually, need to be ripped to six inches wide. They are right now, um, a couple of them are a little bit proud of eight inches, so I've got to make, you know, remove about two inches of material here. So I could come in with my panel gauge and establish a semi-flat edge, I'm just doing rough work right now, lay in a six inch mark and rip that out. But here's the thing, eventually the grain is going to look lopsided there. If you look closely at this board, this is what I would call a center matched board where the center cathedral pattern runs practically right down the middle of the board. So if I were to take six inches from this edge, that would put me right there. So then I would have this wide section of rift straight grain, a cathedral, and then a shorter section of cathedral grain. It's not that bad, but you can see how it's slightly out of balance. As I move down the board and the cathedrals move more towards the center, let me grab my gauge again, now, especially right here, you can see I've got a wide section of rift grain and a very narrow section of rift grain and then this cathedral right in the middle. It actually gets worse all the way down at this end. I've got this little bark inclusion, but the cathedral is almost butted up right against that far edge. And what that's going to do is give it this impression that the whole board is kind of slanting off in one direction and it's going to look unbalanced. Ultimately what I should do is lay in a line that is parallel to this rising cathedral pattern. Saw to that line, then draw a line parallel to that first edge that is equidistant. So I've got equal amounts of rift grain on either side. That will truly compose the grain pattern on this long board and it's going to end up looking that much better. So that's a lot more work than just one rip cut, especially when you're doing your work entirely by hand over there on a saw bench. Now I've got to make two, what is this, seven foot long rip cuts. One of them's at a slight angle, so it's not quite as, as straightforward, pun intended, 